Yeah, it's great to have your company this morning. And I wonder what you think of our top London story today. This is the BBC considering asking those people over 75 who can afford it, who have the means to pay for their TV licence. The, the, you understand the argument in favour of this. Obviously, um, uh, you know, the BBC feels that it shouldn't subsidise people who don't need financial subsidy, that if you can afford to pay, what difference does it make if you're 75, 85 or 95? If you can't afford to pay, of course, you should have it free. If you can, you should cough up. What do you think of this? 0207 224 2000. And what about your Freedom Pass? And what about the winter fuel allowance? If you have the means, should you simply pay for them? And should means testing come in across the board? Let us discuss this with Joan Bakewell, who joins me on the programme. Uh, Good morning, Joan. Thank you so much for talking to us. Good morning, Vanessa. Well, you know, some people will be horrified. I can see the lines have lit up already at the mention of paying for your TV licence over the age of 75. But I believe you think it makes sense if you can afford it. Um, Well, now... Um, I, I don't regard this as any kind of instruction that people should. They're not under any obligation. It's just that um, if you are um, well enough off to afford it, it is £145 a year, which is incredible value, yeah. then um, it would help sustain the BBC as we've grown to love it. The fact is that older people probably are high consumers of the BBC product because they're at home much more, they listen more all day, they depend, older people often depend on watching television throughout the day. Mm -hmm. So they are getting enormous value for money. Now, um, the the government pulled a fast one recently because what they did was this. In um, in the early 2000s, Gordon Brown had said they would make a benefit for older people of having the free TV licence. That's when it came in Mm. for older people. Now, because austerity requires everyone to um, cut, um, cut their budgets, the, the um, government has offloaded this benefit onto the BBC. So what they have done is taken something that was a welfare and pensions benefit given to old people by the government and asked the BBC to pay for it, right. which is to transgress from one enterprise, which is government policy and de- about welfare, into the BBC's licence fee, which is a completely original and outrageous undertaking. It will cost the BBC something like a fifth of its income. I mean, there will be people who just simply see the figure 75 and above and dot, 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 so pay for your TV licence, and we'll just think, goodness, how much older do you have to be to get a free bit of television? You know, how much, how much more well, of life do you have to have lived? And, 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 you know, there are few enough benefits, and this should be one that's available yes, to all simply on the grounds of seniority. No, you don't have to anything, Vanessa. Yes, yes. This is not compulsory. This is for, from people who've grown through in their lifetime seven decades of knowing and trusting the BBC, of valuing the BBC, and for the use they make of it at a time when they're, they're living at an income bracket when perhaps they can afford to go on a cruise or they enjoy holidays mm-hmm. or a good bottle of wine, then this is asking them to, uh, to cough up, as it were, to feel that they would be pleased to make it as a donation to help the BBC. What about uh, the Freedom Pass and what about the, the winter fuel allowance? Do you feel the uh, well, same I, about those? I give my friend to yes. Well, it was absurd when I got my three hundred pounds winter fuel allowance because I I live in a comfortable house and I can afford to pay it. So oh. I tried to send it back. Yes, <laughs> and I got a letter saying there is no mechanism for taking this back. In the old days, people used to try to do that uh, sometimes with child benefit, and it was exactly the same. They felt they didn't need it. They'd try and give it back, and there was no one to give it back to. But in fact, what happened then? It, the, the the idea spread that if you wanted to, you could give your three hundred pound fuel allowance to a charity and yes. uh, that's what many people do um and uh, but i mean the freedom pass um i will um no i'll lead them march along whitehall rather than give up my freedom pass why why shouldn't you pay it's, your bus fare? The Freedom there? Pass is a marvellously egalitarian enterprise. It keeps us all moving together in the public domain. We all share buses and, and um, underground. We enjoy um, each other's company. We help on with, with buggies um, and older people are helped on and off buses and so on. So it's a marvellously um, universal benefit and I enjoy that. If I perhaps had to pay... Mm-hmm. Um, at my age and didn't get that universal benefit, what I would do is take a sensible option, which would be to take my car, which would increase increase the traffic drums mm-hmm. and the pollution. So, you know, let me keep going on the bus, please.
<laughs> Dame Joan Bakewell, thank you very much indeed.